Hello everybody. So it has been a few weeks and that was not the plan at all, but the world went to hell in a handbasket as I'm sure you are all aware of. If you saw the title of this video, yes, this is going to be a little camera unboxing, but I thought along the way I would kind of just chit chat. Um, it's like a weird daily vlog mixed with an unboxing mixed with a mukbang because I'm gonna make a smoothie and then we will get this day started. Oh my god, I hate this so much. I got these glasses from Warby Parker and I've been using them for like years but then these ones all of a sudden just suck so they're scratched so it just looks like I have a weird glassy eye. I don't know. Okay, smoothie time. reusable ones except for then i was gonna get a metal one right there's a story about how this girl fell and it literally went through her eye and she died which is like one i don't want that to happen to me and two she held on to that drink for dear life then if she fell and still didn't let it go i don't know i'm gonna pack these orders now so it's gonna be annoying every time i talk that's the way we're doing it so Basically, I didn't mean to take a couple week break from making videos. I actually ended up filming three or four, I want to say three videos, and I started editing them, and then I just hated them. And then I got into a very big trap. I'm the type of person who hates feeling trapped and hates feeling caged. Um, and so with the quarantine, I could no longer travel like I need to. And that's clearly not the biggest problem that was going on at that time or now, obviously. But it definitely did impact my mental health. So I was just feeling so down and like everything I did, I wasn't into. So that started to really drag me down. And then I was getting better, getting up. Uh, and then after that, I got sick. And so that sucked. And then after that, George Floyd was murdered. And it was basically just like, my attention was all focused on that. I was a part of the protests. Um, gosh, when like Trump got elected and, and you know, the violent protests that happened uh, here in Portland. And I went to them every night, every night that I could. I was going to a talk or I was going to a protest or something. And um, it kind of was just, it just felt like that all over again, but on such a on such a deeper level. There's so much I want to say, and then there's so much that I already have said, and it's just like really shitty. It's really, really shitty. It is terrible to see another Black person die, and it is very sad, and it is also taking a big um, toll on my mental health, which is another reason I haven't made a video or... Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I've talked about it on Instagram a lot. Um, yeah, I think I'm just trying to be positive for myself, for my mental health. So I definitely took a break from my thrifting Instagram account. Um, I do want to say thank you to everybody who's followed. Supporting black businesses is always important. It always should be important, especially supporting queer people of color. I do, dear God, hope that you're doing more than sharing a, a black person's Instagram page, but it does mean a lot to see them wanting to support people of color. Um, it's awesome, it really is. Like I was saying, I, I did take a break from my uh, thrifting Instagram account because I am in a niche. I, I've made a niche for myself in, um, in like this genre of vintage and thrifting where I do a lot of more like streetwear vintage um, and it is heavily, heavily, heavily patrolled by white boys. White boys are the majority of people that follow me. Oh, white boys are the majority of people I see at the bins. I see getting, you know, um, raised up and praised for being so good at what they do. But sadly, a lot of people on my Instagram didn't really give a shit until a lot of businesses started getting looted. And I understand the the pros and cons of the looting like I, I it's it's a very difficult and tricky subject but at the same time it was really hard for me as a black person you know you feel like is there a place for me in this world where I feel safe and wanted by a community and overall you know when you are a black person in America 
you will never feel 100% safe. You will never feel 100% in the community. And that's because of the systematic oppressions that have been just passed down generation to generation, never fully healed, just patched over and, you know, slap on the back, you're good to go. So when all this was going on and all the white boys were silent for the most part, um, that silence like screamed. That silence was so, so loud. And you know, when a million dollar vintage company gets looted, all of a sudden these white boys are fucking rising from the ashes and like donating and, and raising thousands of dollars in like an hour to help them. But they did not use their Instagram, their voice, their, you know, their followers to help raise any money for black people, nothing, like nothing at all. And so that also screamed so much. And so it was just really hard for me, I think, to continue to like post and be a part of this vintage community that much like the real world doesn't really give a fuck about you unless you're white. And so I definitely took a little break from there and I'm still on that break. I don't know if I am when this is over. I'm just kind of like letting my mental health recuperate yeah i don't know just donate donate money if you can if you can go outside go to a protest go march you know go do something um have the difficult conversations that you should have been having already you know people who are biased and people who are racist and people who think like oh cops are cops are good there's just a few bad apples like talk to them because i think change can come through the hard conversations and it I mean, obviously it's gonna take a lot more than that, but between families, you know, I I grew up with an all white family. I didn't know really anything about black culture, black history, anything until I went to college and learned for myself. And um, I'm very grateful for that because like, I think it helped shape who I am and it taught me a lot about myself, but I can definitely relate to like growing up in a white family and not knowing how to address these things so i don't know it's just important when you don't say anything it hurts and if you do say something say it and then elevate the black person next to you who's been saying it for years like that's important black voices are important so i am starting to feel like i am in a better headspace definitely there are these feelings for black people that won't go away um, but in an overall sense, my mental health is definitely getting better, which is really nice. I also realize I don't want to put myself in one category. I feel like I've been kind of trying to like make videos that other people like and make videos that like would get views for the community that I'm in. And then I realized, fuck that. It's basically just going to be like lifestyle. It's just going to be me, whether it's a vlog, whether it's traveling, whether it is going to thrift stores and seeing what I can find or just sitting here and talking. I don't know. It's just going to be whatever I want and whatever I feel like doing that day. Now, with that being said, I think the camera is here and I am going to go downstairs and pick it up. See you in a second. It came. I'm so excited. Okay, let's get into it. Let's lighten this up. So to be honest, I didn't really get this. Um, for, oh my gosh, the struggle. So I've wanted a camera for a very long time because I've always loved photography, um, but also I travel a lot um, and I wish that I had something to record my traveling on that was a little more clear. Like, don't get me wrong, iPhone is solid. They're, they're doing what they can, but there's like some moments and some memories that I just wish were like pictured with a nice camera so crisp, so clean. That's mainly what this is for. And I'm really excited for that. But also it's like a good investment because I can use it for product shots. I can use it for the hair, um, for my personal use. Like I just know it'll get used. So that's my allergy medicine because the pollen count is high and allergies have been real this season. I am slowly dying inside. So fingers crossed that that stuff works better. This came with it, it was a bundle. I think instead of like $4.99, it was like $5.11 or something. So I was like, yeah, why not? So it's just a 32 gig uh, SD card. And then I bought another one, which is a 128 because I am actually headed on a road trip next week. And I just thought it'd be good to have some extra storage. And last but not least, the camera. Wow, I feel like very like, 
adult or very like professional because I have never had a nice camera. I've always wanted one, but I could never like just go and buy one because I always would do research and get in my head. And then the other night I literally just saw somebody post about this on YouTube. Um, and I watched like three videos and I was like, dude, just fucking buy it because if you don't buy a camera now, you're just gonna keep going through the cycle of like, maybe I'll buy one and then you don't. And then you're like, oh, I wish I had one. And, you know, I'm not a tech person also. I need to like preface this. This is going to be not a full on like unboxing with specs and all that stuff. This is just the only video for me talking and telling you guys that I'm alive. A manual, always good to have. So it comes with this little, little, uh, camera strap, so that's nice. Probably gonna upgrade that. And I believe this is the, I'm assuming it's the battery. This legit looks like ink. I'm not sure what this is. Oh no, this is the lens. Oh gosh, wow, what a novice I am. So luckily it wasn't just the body, it did come with a lens, which is really nice. These are so expensive. Oh my gosh. This is just a whole video of me doing an unboxing where I can't properly open things. That's a nice battery charger. That's awesome. I didn't know what came with that. Alright, that looks like that's it for the box. Camera. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Wow, look at how cute this is. Ooh, sleek. Ooh, modern. Oh yes, it has the flip thing. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. I know screens flip, duh, that's a thing, and vloggers use it all the time, but I like that it flips out and then it goes back in so that like, it doesn't get scratched. So like, this is the base of it, because I always was so worried that like, well, if I get a nice camera, I can't have the screen scratched, and now it won't. Yeah, you could either get this in black or in white. I, I personally love the black. I just feel like there's something classic about a black camera, sleek, and the white was not my all-time favorite, but so we're gonna flip it on. I don't know if it'll actually have any charge on it. Oh my God, I didn't even put the battery in. So no shit, it's not gonna turn on. Oh, your girl is struggling today. So the thing that looks like ink is probably the battery. I love the idea of somebody like coming to this video and like being like, oh, a product review, perfect. I don't know if I want this camera or not. And then they just see me struggling to do literally the most basic thing. Destroy the box. So I really can't return it. Throw this in. I'm like terrified this is not going in the right way. Is there like an eject button just in case? Or... Oh, now we got it. Oh, wow. Okay, it instantly, it dies, so. That's the most anticlimactic thing to ever happen. I'm gonna charge this for a little bit and then I will be right back. The Canon battery just got done charging. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to that. If you don't see a difference in the quality and sound, I feel like that's just gonna have to be on you. You need a prescription or go to the bottom of the little video, click that settings and make sure it's at 1080p or I just got ripped off and Canon is just scamming us out here. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it wouldn't let me press done. So already iPhone's trying to make me stay. We're gonna try this one more time. Wow, that is like absolutely insane. Okay, okay car, you gotta go. Okay, that is so crazy. So the screen flips on the left side if, if it's like you just holding a camera, you know? Um, so it's kind of weird because I am left-handed, but I kind of use my right hand for so many things that my left hand is gonna get a little tired. I heard on the like three videos I watched, a few people were a little like not into the fact that they had to like stretch their arm out, but I think that they might have just not zoomed it out all the way because my arm is definitely bent and I feel like you can still see a lot of the background. I also love that autofocus. I'm not sure how the sound is, but we'll see. So yeah, wow, this is really cool. Oh, now you can see my bare apartment. I just moved in a few months ago, give me time. Um, I haven't done anything to the settings. There's a whole bunch of like, you know, 
obviously settings that you can do for photo, video, everything like that, but I have not touched that. Um, so this is kind of just like raw, no edit, no filter. This is what it looks like. I am loving it. I have a sunlay right here and I feel like it, it's really catching that for me. I feel like I can't complain because one, I have never had a nice camera, um, which means I clearly am not a professional. And two, I'm coming from an iPhone. So it's like, once you upgrade past an iPhone to any kind of camera, it's probably gonna be pretty damn good. I mean, as long as it doesn't break and as long as I don't drop it, then I feel like we're in business. I'm such a nerd. Okay, I'm gonna flip this and then I'm gonna bring it this way. Oh, I guess if I do this, then it's not in my face, huh? So that's cool. Oof, 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 oof. All right, I am excited. Um, I think this was a good buy. I feel like this is gonna make life a little more fun. Um, I'm gonna head out. I have shit to do. But yeah, I look forward to making more content in the future. And thank you for, you know, subscribing and liking. And it was really cool to see that I was still getting subscribers when I wasn't posting. People were still commenting. It was awesome. Um, I would love to do a Q&A video. I get a lot of questions on Depop and I get a lot of questions on my YouTube videos just about like my business, <laughs> really just about business, which is totally fine. But I thought it would be fun to do a little Q&A, maybe if I can rack up enough questions just about anything. It could be my life, it could be business, but yeah. Ooh. Who is she? It's me. Sorry, I'm enjoying this way too much. Okay, anyway, yes, thank you for tagging along. I know this was kind of a lengthy video. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. And yeah, drop any questions you may have for me down below in the comments. And you can also message me on uh, Depop or Instagram. I will leave my personal as well as my thrift one. Yeah, I really appreciate it. So I hope you all have a good one and I will see you on the next one.